Hi there, this is David Tonner with a quick tutorial on how to use NiceCast on your Macintosh computer to, uh, to set up uh, a broadcast, like a radio sort of a, of a broadcast. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to open NiceCast. I think that's a great place to start. We'll open up NiceCast and uh, take a look at all the, the cool buttons. Uh, the first thing that we're going to uh, see is the source button, this button right here, and decide on what the source of our broadcast will be. Uh, there's a whole series of uh, audio devices. Uh, you'll see the uh, the built-in microphone that's built in right off of your uh, computer. There's line in uh, on the back of uh, your computer or on the side of the computer, whatever kind of computer you have. Uh, I happen to be using a, a DigiDesign M-Box to put the audio that I have uh, going into the uh, computer. Uh, I've also got Soundflower with uh, two channels, Soundflower also with uh, 16 channels. So you can pick one of those. Uh, one of the other uh, options is to pick an application. You can pick any any application off of your computer by selecting one from here or whatever happens to be there. Uh, in this case, we are going to uh, choose and have already chosen actually iTunes as the source for uh, our broadcast. Okay, we're going to do it that way. Uh, the next button over is Info. Uh, you, you could set up your broadcast to uh, to have any title that you want. Ours is David Tyler's in-house broadcast, and I put my URL davidtyler.com there. You could also select the genre of your broadcast if you like to, with a small uh, description. Uh, that'll be uh, displayed when somebody logs in uh, to your broadcast. Uh, titles has to do with the uh, the actual files that are being played. In in the case of uh, the broadcast that we're setting up uh, today. Uh, is the titles and the artists of the songs that will be going through the uh, the iTunes uh, application. They'll be displayed. There's nothing playing right now, so it's uh, it's NA. Uh, quality depends on uh, on how much bandwidth you've got. 128, 44.1 kilohertz, and in stereo, that's a basic uh, setting for uh, standard CD quality sound. You can increase the quality of the sound, but of course, as you increase the quality of the sound, uh, you reduce the uh, the bandwidth. Uh, if I was just doing a voice broadcast, for example, I would also do it in mono, and I would save some uh, some space there. Okay, you can also set up a, a custom uh, setting for yourself. Uh, the next button over is share. This is how you would sh share your broadcast using this URL, URL. This is the internet URL that you will uh, need to share with uh, all the people that you want to listen. You can copy it here. Uh, if somebody was on your um, uh, on your net, your uh, network at home or wherever it is, and they want to listen, they would listen to it on this. Now, this is my personal uh, um, uh, URL. This is not the standard one for every single computer. This is the one for my computer to uh, to listen in. Um, uh, right, so that's the URL you're going to need to hand out. Uh, there's also effects too, if you wanted to put in some special effects. But uh, if you're playing just music and and some voice, you're not really going to uh, to need to uh, to worry about that much. Okay, uh, one of the other things, the features I want to uh, to show you is the server. So under Window, Show Server, we are using the built-in server. That is the server that's on this computer that uh, we're working on. Uh, you can put a password in, so uh, only the people that know the password will be able to uh, to listen in. In order to do that, to do that on the server, we need to click the Stop button, require a password, and then put in the pass the uh, Put in the password here. You can also limit the amount of people that can listen in. Of course, if you only want one person to listen in, or eight people to uh, to listen in. Okay. Uh, for uh, for the purposes of this, we're not going to uh, uh, require a, a password. Make sure that the server has been uh, started. That this that the server is is active. Okay. Uh, one of the other cool things is once you started the broadcast, you can actually see your listeners. There'll be an ID. There'll be the uh, their uh, IP address, etc. And if you don't want, if you know who it is, and you don't want them to be listening, you can actually uh, kick them off uh, once the broadcast has begun. Okay. Now, to start this broadcast that uh, that we've just set up, playing through iTunes, it's as simple as clicking on Start Broadcast. Brilliant. It's automatically going to open up uh, iTunes for us. Here's iTunes. Let me open it up a little bit. Uh, uh, wider for you so you can uh, see what's going on. Um, we're broadcasting now. There's nothing being played through yet. The uh, The volume on NiceCast itself is at is at zero. You can monitor what's uh, what's happening on what's happening uh, on the broadcast. So let's play this. You can see now that the view meters are moving. 
We can take a peek. Figure out how to make the B100 VIP club that much sweeter. And they uh, came up with fine. this crazy oh idea. And if we were to go to uh, titles now, is it going to be on titles? Yes. So we're going to see the actual title of this file that's playing now in iTunes. Here's the title. This, if it was a song, the song would be also be uh, broadcast in there. So there you go. A uh, quick tutorial of how to set up a nice cast broadcast. If you have any questions, just let me know.